Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com and today I'm going to show you how to replace a piece of masonite clapboard siding. So what we've got here is a piece of masonite clapboard siding that's become punky and rotted out from water that's bounced um, off the deck coming down from the roof and bouncing up onto the clapboard siding. And over the years it's the water's penetrated underneath the masonite clapboard um, in the paint and kind of rotted it out. So I'm going to show you how to replace this. It's a relatively easy project to do, uh, but it takes a little bit of care and time to do it right. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to the end of the clapboard that I want to remove and just using my utility knife to score the line to break the paint uh, that separates, uh, that's kind of tying in the two clapboards. And then secondly, I'm going to take my utility knife and go along the underside of the clapboard just above it to cut the paint that's adhering this clapboard to that clapboard. Next, I'm going to use my uh, pry bar and hammer and just basically just rip some of this board out of here so I get uh, I'm behind it and start peeling it back um, from the board above it. But i got to take a little care here. I don't want to damage this board. But to begin with, we're just going to be pretty rough with this. So now that I've loosened the clapboard uh, from the wall and the clapboard above it, I'm using a sawzall to cut the nails behind the clapboard above it. And now I'm just simply tugging on the section of clapboard and pulling it down and out a little bit. We're just going to work our way across the whole length of it to remove all of it. Now I'm taking the round end of my pry bar, sticking it up underneath the above clapboard where the nail, uh, on top of the nail that was cut, and using my hammer to basically pound that um, remaining portion of the nail into the uh, sheathing. And I'm doing that along the entire length of the clapboard uh, where the nails are. This way I'll be able to slide the new clapboard up and underneath easily. Uh, the drip edge that went over the apron here, this uh, piece of one by trim, um, is all rusted out. So I'm also going to replace this too. So I'm just peeling this back and taking it off. We'll put some new stuff on. Now that we've cleaned up all the demolition material, I'm beginning to uh, start the process of putting a new clapboard in. But first I'm putting in this piece of um, drip edge um, to go over the apron one by material. I'm going to tack it in with just a couple of um, roofing nails. Now I put a six inch width piece of ice and water shield in here just to add another level of barrier um, between the sheathing on the house and the exterior siding. And now I'm using my chop saw or miter saw to uh, trim a piece of clapboard siding uh, to the proper length. I'm sliding the new piece of clapboard up and underneath uh, this clapboard and placing it in flush with the surface of the sheathing. Now all this is do is to nail it in place. So I'm attaching the new clapboard to the wall by first putting in one and three quarter inch stainless steel uh, siding nails and I'm going to put them in first on the clapboard just above about three quarters of an inch from the base of the uh, clapboard. And I'm actually going to put two nails into the spot because I had removed the nail from this clapboard so the hole is a little bit wider. I want to make sure I have a good, good uh, surface area to secure this clapboard to uh, the sheathing. I'll then also place a single nail, again about three quarters of an inch uh, from the base of the new clapboard right underneath uh, the nailing of the uh, upper clapboard. I'm going to repeat this process length along the length of the clapboard. And so to wrap up this project, I'm just putting two coats of paint on the new clapboard board as well as a couple of the boards above it. And that's all there is to it to replacing a piece of clapboard siding. If you have other home improvement questions, make sure to visit HomeEditionPlus.com today. Mm -hmm.